When does a drum cover stop being a drum cover? In the last video I made about this, I made some blanket statements purely off video of why I thought things were faked. So I thought I would take a little bit deeper dive into drums specifically to back up the things I said. All right, this is the first one we'll take a look at. Is my quick plug in for my Patreon. If you want to check out some cool behind the scenes stuff, full videos, studio versions, guitar tabs, videos I haven't posted anywhere else. And today I'm going to be posting the MIDI drums that I created for this song, along with some other stems if you want to check them out. Thanks. Just got 2.4 million views on this. Everything's mic'd up. She's even got the foot cam, so you know it's one continuous take. Let's check it out. Sounds good, but let's take a deeper look at it. So just with a quick look, you can see that everything lines up pretty perfectly to the grid. But let's take a little bit closer look at these transients. I'll show you snare hits because those are going to be the easiest ones to see. When we zoom in just a little bit on the twos and fours of these, you can see that every single hit is completely spot on. Not a single one, even milliseconds off. And you could say, sure, she's just that good of a drummer. I'm sorry, but there's not a single drummer in the entire world who is this spot on on a recording without editing. Just for example's sake, I pulled the actual first eight track in here. It's harder to see the transients on the fully mixed and mastered track, but when I play it, if you listen, you'll hear the flams between these hits. And that's because Travis recorded these to tape with no time aligning. And so you're hearing the difference of timing between his natural playing and then her perfectly edited playing. <laughs> You can hear, especially in those snares, those little time differences. And again, that's because hers are perfectly edited to the grid while his are slightly off just because he's playing like a real drummer. So that brings me to the question, why is this so common and so easy, especially in drum covers? So if you're recording video in 24 frames per second, one frame is roughly 40 milliseconds. And here's what that sounds like. It's pretty noticeable. I'll throw in one more just so you can hear 40 seconds early and 40 seconds late compared to a center hit. So a drum could be hit at any single one of those points and it would be completely undetectable in video because all of that is within one single frame. Even when you start pushing it outside of that, it's still almost impossible to tell on video. I hit on this when I did my Brick by Boring Brick cover, where if you look at the original, it's an okay cover, I'm not good at drums. But when you look at the edited one, unless you knew it was edited, you probably couldn't tell that all of those hits were corrected. And so again, it brings me to the question of why do I care so much about this? When you look at the comments on these videos, there's so many of just, uh, it's so clean, it's so amazing, you're my favorite drummer in the entire world, but she's not even playing it. A perfect example of why that matters to me is, here's a comment on the last video I did, exactly nailing the frustration I feel where there's so many of these perfect covers and someone who is really good at their instrument doesn't want to post these things because there's so many fake videos out there that no one's going to care about someone who's playing it naturally. In comparison, we can look at an actual cover of this where he has 400 views on this video. I know that timing can be different and that all kinds of factors could change but the difference of 2.4 million views to 400. And sure some parts may be a little bit rushed some parts behind yes but he sounds like an actual drummer and anyone who's ever played in a band who's ever played an instrument knows how that feels and this just feels real it feels so much better and when you take a look at this audio you can see what i was talking about where sure some hits are a little bit late some hits a little bit early but again, it's because it's an actual drummer actually playing this. No one is a robot who can play it perfectly on time all the time like that. One opinion I had before was that electronic drum covers are all fake. I know that not all of them are, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to fake them and why I think that. Even just watching a couple of seconds of this, you can see visually how off some of the hi-hat hits and some of those hits are to know that this is clearly edited. So when you're playing an electronic hit hooked into your computer, what it does is creates these MIDI hits. that are assigned to certain sounds in whatever DAW you're using. And the reason these are so easy to fake is that something could be played exactly like this. And all it takes is some quick quantizing and some correcting of velocities. And then you get this. So you could be playing this completely off and not even the right hits and all it takes is a couple minutes in your computer to edit it and correct it and you get that perfect video. And in that case I spent about 20 minutes going through and using my keyboard and mouse to map out this entire drum track. So really isn't this just as much of a cover as someone playing on an electronic kit and fixing it all in post? It's now I'll close with the question that I 
honestly want to know your opinions on is where do you think a drum cover stops being a drum cover? Does anyone else even care about this as much as I do? Is everyone just doing this for fake internet points? I don't know, but I'm going to keep complaining about it. So thanks for being here. Hope you enjoy the next one. Yeah.